President Trump is facing questions from the IRS. The New York Times broke news alleging Donald Trump and his father Fred Trump back in the 90s used a tax scheme to pay less money to Uncle Sam. The strategy involves undervaluing the monetary gift Fred Trump gave to his children. President Trump denies the allegations. Tax attorney Ed Clinton, no relation to Hillary and Bill, joins us now. Thanks for coming on our show. Where do you think this case is headed? So where I think it's headed is that the IRS will in inevitably open up an investigation, which will take them quite some time. I do think there could be a potential for civil penalties or a civil case being brought. The statute of limitations is, there is no statute of limitations if they deem a return fraudulent. Um, so they, they could bring a, a claim in the tax court, a civil claim, at any time. Unfortunately, the criminal statutes of limitation have all run out. So there is possibility for civil liability. What would a penalty look like in your estimation? The penalty would look like a substantial one because they would have the ability to go back and take a return from, let's say, 2000 or 2001. They would say this return is fraudulent. We're going to assess a fraud penalty. We're going to assess an underpayment penalty and we're going to assess interest. So and then obviously that would be challenged by the by uh, the Trump entity or, or the president or the estate of Fred Trump and then there would be a long court battle in the tax court to see where that wound up. So the, the penalties could be enormous. You've been around these cases. How quickly do you think the IRS will actually move on this case? I think it will take them quite some time given the fact that they are understaffed as it is and that they will need a crew of people and sophisticated accountants to go through this. They will need at least a year to do this properly and they'll need 20 or 30 people. Thank you for your expertise, Ed. Thank you very much. Check out businessfirstam.com to find out where to see our entire show. And don't forget to like, follow, and share Business First AM.